Hey my Squidlings, it's Katie here and welcome back to another review and demo video today by popular demand on my last poll on my video. Um, I'm going to be doing the uh, Hydrus watercolors. So these are by the brand Dr. P.H. Martin. These are the fine art watercolors and they come in these little dropper bottles. I actually bought these open stock. You can also purchase them in a like 12 set. Uh, they have glass and plastic bottles with little droppers. Um, the plastic bottles are a little smaller. These are one ounce. The plastic bottles are half ounce. Um, but again, I bought these open stock just because I wanted to try them a little bit before, you know, I invested in more. So, um, I want to go ahead and disclaimer that I paid for these. Uh, of course, I bought them like I just said a million times. And I'm not being paid or sponsored or any of that jazz to make the video. Uh, before I get further into the video, I do want to direct you to the description below. I actually just recently opened a Patreon. Uh, and if you want to support me for extra content and be able to vote on future YouTube videos uh, and get sneaky peekies at things and extra just like physical rewards consider supporting me over there also i opened a new store on ticktail.com it's a little bit easier it's a little bit more like user friendly uh so go check that out links are in the description below uh i'd really appreciate it if you guys could support me in any way possible uh it just it really helps me out a lot and it helps me to keep purchasing things like these for reviews so yeah so i can keep them coming so let's talk more about these now that i'm done with the shameless self-promotion um, they actually come in 36 different colors, but I've got six here, so uh, as you can see, I've actually got, um, what is this called, Hansa Yellow Medium. And then I have got, if my camera will focus, uh, Brilliant Cadmium Red, Alizarin Crimson, Ultramarine Blue, Thalo Blue, and Burnt Umber. Now, um, before I go any further, there's one thing I want to kind of let you guys know. For some reason, my burnt umber was like super chunky in the bottle. Like it just looked like it had chunks of just nastiness. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's still kind of chunky on the dropper bottle. Um, I would highly recommend you to shake these up as well as possible because these are pigment based. And so if you don't shake them up, uh, they it like settles and it could get chunky and you don't want chunky watercolor. So. I'm gonna stop talking and I'm actually going to do swatches. I'm gonna swatch a couple of them out uh, in real time and then I will flip over to like speed time or maybe I'll cut it out. I don't know how I'm gonna do this yet. But I'm gonna grab my handy dandy water brush because I've been super obsessed with these lately. Uh, and I'm just going to take one of these and I'm gonna shake it up and open it. And I'm actually just going to, you can do this a couple of different ways. I'm just going to kind of drop a little drop on the paper. And then take my super handy dandy water brush and just kind of do this with it. And holy crap, these are so vibrant. I absolutely love these. Um, so Elizabeth and Crimson is probably my favorite of all the colors that I bought. And I think we'll swatch out Ultramarine as well because I want to mix these two and kind of get a feel for how they mix. There we go. I probably have way too much of this. But uh, as you can see, a little bit of this stuff goes a really, really, really long way. Oh my word, brilliant cadmium red, chill out. So there are a couple of the colors. Now again, I wanted to kind of see how they mixed. I'm going to grab one of these cute little flower palettes instead of, you know, trying to like waste them. I'm gonna dip these colors out into the little flower palette. Again, a little bit goes a long way. I'm going to start with the red. Grab a little bit of blue. Oh my goodness, that blue is super <laughs> concentrated. Alright, so this is a mixed color and it's ridiculously vibrant. So, the nice thing is you don't lose any vibrancy with these like when you mix. That's always nice. These are, of course, fine art grade, so, you know, I'm not too surprised, but, you know, you can never be too careful when it comes to art supplies. Is, um, lifting techniques, so, like, weight, like, 
two seconds and I'll cut to that. Alright, so this part is dry. I'm just going to get it wet with clear water. I'm going to dab it up with paper towel. And lift technique is actually pretty decent. Um, so you can definitely reactivate these watercolors. You should probably have watercolor paper that's able to handle lifting techniques because uh, my paper is not that strong, but it does work well. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to swatch the rest of these out and uh, then I'm going to come back and talk to you about other things. So, yeah. All right, here are the final swatches. So we've got the Alizarin Crimson here. We've got the Ultramarine, the Hansa Yellow, Brilliant Cal Cad Red. Um, the phthalo blue and the burnt umber and then these are just mixes made with the various colors so this is alizarin crimson and ultramarine this was the yellow and the phthalo blue and this was the uh, yellow and the alizarin crimson now uh, i think they mix really really well they don't lose any vibrancy they're actually really vibrant now i'm going to go ahead into an illustration and i'm going to talk to you guys further about everything uh, about these little ink watercolors uh, whether i like them or not a you know pro con i'll probably rate them at the very end if i remember and yeah so let's go head over there all right so now it's time to talk about the paints themselves so again they are available in open stock or 12 sets the 12 sets come in two different types there is the half ounce bottles um and they're plastic and there is the one ounce bottles which are glass they both have a dropper top these are light fast and pigment based they are acid free and archival. They're also intermixable with their other like types of inks. So like the Bombay India inks and the radiant watercolors. Um, and they don't clog a dip pen. These are non-toxic and they actually come in 36 colors. So I have six colors, but they come in 30 more. Uh, they are compatible with a brush, a dip pen, an airbrush, and a technical pen, which I find is really nice. Um, so one thing I think is the biggest selling point for me um, is the flow is really nice because these are liquid watercolors. They flow really, really well in watercolor. You get some really great effects, as you can see I used on the jellyfish. Um, I just thought it was really fun, and it's really pretty to watch. It just kind of flow across the page. Mixing is really nice. You don't dull any colors unless you're trying to uh, and I just think everything looks really pretty so you can get a variety of colors just by mixing um, they've got some gorgeous colors um, they can mix gorgeous colors and they just come in gorgeous colors uh, I think the only downside is, is they don't have muted down colors but again I like to paint vibrantly so it's not that big of a deal but you know just depends on the artist they do dry relatively quickly unless you use a lot of water um, which is you know it's pretty cool um, I like paints that dry quickly because I'm impatient um, so these are basically just watercolors in liquid form um, that's really it um they, but because of that it makes water techniques easier and they are a lot of fun to work with and a little bit goes a long way however these do stay in the paper as far as a rating is concerned i'm going to give these a seven and a half i really really liked them but i think one of the biggest issues for me is there is no muted colors because again i do like to paint vibrantly but it is nice to have those muted colors and they are kind of expensive so um, yeah, but that brings me to if you are interested in these I will have a link down in the description below to where you can get some um, So check that out. Also, don't forget to check the description for uh, Links to my patreon my Twitter my Instagram and my tumblr uh, where I share art and stuff and also don't forget to check that link to my art store uh, and yeah, so um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, You're gonna see the final product soon I add some glitter and I fine lined it and I think she turned out really pretty. So uh, this is probably one of my favorite pieces in a while. And I've been super obsessed with sea creatures. So yeah, uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you did, don't forget to thumbs it up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to join our cute little squid pod if you haven't already to keep updated on new videos. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!